I was having a conversation with a woman and she insinuated that the only reason why most women have CX is because they are lazy to push. I was conversing with another woman. She only told me that try an exercise often so you won't have to go through CX. I was also speaking with another person and she was like, this woman is such a strong woman. She has been able to give birth to five children without going through any CX. And I was so shocked because I didn't know that a lot of people only thought that women go through CS because they are lazy. In this video, I'm going to be telling you guys reasons why most women go through CS instead of normal vaginal delivery. Hello guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Meekness and today I'm going to be telling you four reasons why a lot of women opt for CS or go for CS instead of normal delivery. First of all, we have health conditions. There are lots of health conditions that may deter a woman from pushing example bp like when i was about to have my baby and they were saying my bp is becoming high and i just had to go for cs that wasn't because i wasn't ready to push but because i was at a risk of either losing myself or losing the baby so for me to overcome this i had to go for cs so it was a matter of life and death we have other conditions like longer labor when you have longer labor it, the baby becomes weak and as sometimes you are encouraged to go for cs in order not to lose the baby or you have a condition whereby the placenta of the baby is below the fetus and a woman is not encouraged to push in that condition if not she might bleed to death so and also if you have a tube or maybe say fibroid down below or just in your womb you are encouraged to go for cs so that they can remove that fibroid and also bring out the baby in good health. Also have condition like when the uterus is too small for the passage of the baby, some mothers are encouraged to not push and go for CS because they might end up giving themselves everlasting. There are other injury. conditions like this that might cause a woman to go for CS, health related and otherwise. So next time you see a woman who is opting for CS, don't just think she really wants want to do it. Though we have women who will say, I want to do CS because I fear labor pain. So we have people like that who fear labor pain and want to go through CS. And we also have people who normally just choose to go through CS and elective CS just to get rid of that trauma of having to go through labor and all that. Another reason why a person might go through CS, a woman might go through CS is because of past birth experience. Don't judge people. There are lots of women who tried having their last baby and they lost the baby and they eventually got pregnant again. The only way they felt was just safer for them to have their baby was to go through CS. So I've seen a lot of women who after losing their previous baby you know, when they got pregnant again, they only booked themselves for CS and refused any form of pushing. At the CS, weeks, they just go and get opened and bring the baby is being brought out. So this um, set of people are just scared of getting any bad news and that is why they prefer to go for CS. Also have this set of people who age is no longer on their side. So when it took, it took them longer period for them to get pregnant, it took them longer time. They took, they looked for this child for a very long time and because it is presumed or assumed that CS is safer for the baby to be safe, they just go through CS. The third reason why many people go through CS is because they are being encouraged by the health professionals or by families and friends. So a lot of people who are being encouraged by the health professionals are likely to go through CS. I know someone who was to go through CS, but the maternity um, center where she attended encouraged her not to go through CS and she tried and she gave birth to her baby. So imagine she did not have that um, maternity center encouraging her not to go through CS because she had no condition that would have led her to that she would have probably gone for CS so some people just get the wrong advice or some people get the right advice depending on the condition attached to it and they end up going through CS so don't judge people when you see them going the last through CS. reason that I'm going to be giving you guys is the position of the baby there are a lot of women who at their ninth month their baby is still not in the right position to be delivered I know of someone whose baby was already in the position, head down, legs up, to be delivered. And during the process of the labor, the baby turned bum bum down, head up, and she had to go through CS. So if your baby is not in the right position and they cannot make the baby come um, into position, you are likely to go through CS. So there are lots of reasons that can lead a woman into CS. Misinformation, stories from past uh, pregnant women when you go to Atlanta you hear lots of stories that scares you fear and all that can lead a woman into um, opting for CS so don't just wake up from your bed and decide to judge every woman by the 
mindsets or the perception that every woman who goes for CS is not strong enough or every woman who goes for CS is not woman enough to conceive her baby the natural way. That is not true. There are a lot of things that contributed to that. And even if someone just wakes up and decides to go through CS, don't judge them. You don't know why. You are not them and you don't know how they are surviving. So, all right, guys, I just decided to make this video because I was seeing that a lot of women, especially women, are so naive to the fact that women don't go through CS because they are lazy or because they are weak or because they cannot push or because they are not woman enough. They go through CS because of a lot of factors. If you make your research, you will see that there are more reasons why women go through CS. And then you know that it's it not easy. All right, guys, thank you so much for coming back to the channel. Thank you so much for watching this video. See you in my next one.